Good morning on this finally Friday, and it is November 11th, Veterans Day. And good morning to you, Chris Allen, here on the SAM channel, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace. First of all, a salute to all veterans uh, on this Veterans Day. Um, Therefore, the the flag background this morning, I just uh, can't say enough to those of you that uh, are serving as veterans, I thank you for your service. And for those past veterans and future veterans, thank you. Uh, it is, um, you know, one of those days we really need to salute and thank everybody who serves and helps us continue our freedom uh, in this country. All right. There's a lot of weather to talk about this morning. Obviously it's raining outside now as of 4 53 AM, as I record this on this Friday morning and, uh, the rains from what was tropical storm, Nicole are upon us and they're going to be with us all day as we can uh, look at the, this is the big, uh, view of the radar this morning, the center of uh, what's left of Nicole. This is a little bit off center. There's the low pressure system, which was Nicole, but you can see the wraparound moisture and the center of this is really just kind of spinning over Macon, Georgia, just a little bit south of Atlanta. And it's throwing all of this Atlantic moisture our direction. And that's why we're seeing the rains this morning as we are. And uh, some of the rain's coming down pretty good, too. That's that's another thing that we're going to be watchful for uh, this morning. And then we see uh, back to, uh, well, I didn't want to draw that. Let me take care of that, move that, and now we can move. Here we are. This is where we are located this morning, right there in the center, Bowling Green, Sam 100.7, getting some pretty uh, moderate rainfall right now. Haven't heard any rumbles of thunder out of this. And then here is our Arctic front, and it too has some moisture with it. So we've got a clash of systems going on this morning, as I mentioned yesterday would happen. So first of all, we're going to get rain uh, today. And, uh, then it's going to be followed by another shot of rain late tonight and early Saturday morning with the arrival of the colder air. And that's going to put, uh, us in a position where we are likely to see not only rain showers, but some of you could see a little mix in there somewhere. But again, as I mentioned before, The ground temperatures are too warm, so this is not going to be a situation where we get this stuff coming down and you wake up the next morning and there's this blanket of snow and stuff everywhere. It's not going to be like that. Uh, But it is a sign that things are getting much colder and will continue to get colder and stay cold. That's the big news. Uh, More than anything else after this rain, it is going to stay cold. And as I've mentioned before, all the way through Thanksgiving and maybe even the end of November, here is the 10-day trend up front. Today, the last day that looks warm, or at least, you know, mid-60s, you see, and it's painted in kind of a gold color, but you see everything after that is in blues and purples. (laughs) And that's the way we're going to look, too. Blue and purple. Uh, 40s maybe a 50 in there a time or two, but look at those low temperatures. When they go kind of this fuchsia, magenta color, that's cold. So you see 20s and 30s from here on out. And this 10-day trend takes us all the way to November 21st. So you can tell there's nothing in the way of warm air that's coming anytime soon after today. And yes, there will be an opportunity in there somewhere for us to uh, maybe see some more frozen precipitation uh, in that scenario. Okay, now let's get to the here and now and the details. As we look at current temperatures with the rain coming down, the Kentucky Mesonet Network showing right now we're all very pleasant in the 50s, close to 60 statewide. 
let me see uh, how the rainfall is running. And right now it looks like we're seeing temperature, or I should say rainfall, uh, over in Butler County. You've already picked up three-tenths of an inch of rain. That's pretty good. Same thing down in Simpson County. Scottsville and Allen County, 41 hundredths of an inch of rain already. And the rainfall has enhanced, been enhanced from, you know, with the, the last day or so, we said it's going to rain a lot harder than uh, what we first anticipated, thanks to the remnants of Nicole, now a tropical depression, moving more westward. That benefits us with better coverage of rainfall. So I wouldn't be surprised to pick up maybe a half inch or three quarters of an inch of rain out of this today. And then we've got the uh, little system, or I should say the big polar system, the Arctic front that's going to come by tonight, early tomorrow, and add to whatever we pick up today. Now, temperatures is going to be the next big story. We've been talking about this for over a week now, and here it comes. It arrives today, the Arctic front, and you can already see it back here to the west. Look, it's temperatures are in the 40s back into Illinois. We're at 61 here in Bowling Green to start out this morning. So let's put this into motion. Not much of a warm-up today. We're going to go maybe mid-60s because of the rain and the clouds, but you can tell the cold front is coming because look back to the west, just 50s today for southern Illinois, Boot Hill of Missouri. Tonight, we start our plummet downward. As the uh, cold front comes in, we're going to fall into the mid-30s. Now, with still a bit of moisture left out there, you notice here we're going to get cold enough to or close enough to get cold enough for maybe a little mix. Somebody might see a, maybe some sleet or a wet snowflake mixing in overnight if you're watching for that sort of thing, but I don't think it's going to be impactful. Uh, this is going to be, the ground is still way too warm. We've got to allow some cold air to establish itself before anything really sticks. So, I'm not too concerned about that tonight. Everything will mostly stay wet, except for maybe a bridge or overpass. That could be a problem tomorrow morning. And then speaking of tomorrow, uh, there it is. <laughs> That's tomorrow. We're talking about, it says 39, but, you know, I'm going to go 40, 41, maybe 42. Waking up to maybe a little bit of a mix until we get enough above freezing to where it all turns back to rain. And so we will see showers in the morning. I know that there are some football uh, playoffs. In fact, if we've got one tomorrow with my grandson in Russellville in the morning about 11 o'clock. And it's going to be a cold, kind of a blustery uh, occasionally rainy day. You may even find a little bit of sleet mixed in at times, or a wet snowflake. Just don't be surprised. It's not going to hamper travel or anything like that, but it is going to be cold, and it's going to stay cold. So here we go into tomorrow night, and there we go with the brunt of the cold air. That's going to be. It's going to be like this, as you saw. It's going to be like this from now through Thanksgiving and through the end of the month. 20s at night, below freezing. So then things will kind of ice up, I think, uh, tomorrow night and into Sunday morning. Then Sunday, we're only going to make it to maybe 41. So uh, yeah, get ready. It is happening. It is here. There's no turning back at this point. Um, yesterday was the last day we'll see in the 70s for a long, long time. 60s today, and then we're done with that, too, for a long time. Okay, let's go to the uh, future radar. This is a little bit of a different look because I'm using a different uh, forecast map and grid to show you warm air versus cold air, 
and how this thing is going to transition precipitation wise over the coming days. So here is our rain that's coming down. Here we are, in case you didn't know, that's Bowling Green. So here are the remnants of Nicole, and here is our incoming cold front, okay, with the next piece of energy. So here we go through today, rain, mostly I-65 east is where the heaviest rains are going to be. And then we go into tonight, here comes the remnant Nicole, you'd see it right there, depicted as a low pressure system that's going to travel up the uh, Blue Ridge, Alleghenies, the Smokies, it's going to continue northward and weaken until it gets a little bit further, or actually deepen, it's going to strengthen, I should say, <laughs> backwards. Uh, it's going to strengthen. As you see there, the pressure continues to fall with that, and it's going to become a fierce nor'easter storm for the New England states. Okay, notice the red lines. Those are what we call heights. This is still indicating that we're, we're still in a situation where we're going to be warm at first, but then here comes the cold air with the Arctic front late tonight, and early tomorrow morning. And here again, this is where we are. There's Bowling Green, so you can find your bearings. And look what we're seeing. Rain, and that purple indicating there could be a little bit of sleet or snowflakes, wet snowflakes mixing in with the rain. And then you see the blue, of course, is snow. Back western Kentucky and southern Illinois, Boot Hill of Missouri. Then we get into early Saturday morning. Some of that is still with us, but as temperatures get above freezing, uh, then we'll start to see a little bit of rain left over, and here comes the cold air. Notice the blue lines. That's the coldest air. There will be some snow north of us and wind during the day tomorrow. <laughs> it's not going to be a good day, but... I mean, it looks impressive on this map, and you're thinking, well, there was a lot of blue there. There was a lot of purple there. Yeah, but you got to understand, the ground level where we are is too warm, and it would take an established several days' worth of cold air laying a foundation, just like a house, before we would see something stick. Now, if we get some kind of like a flash freeze, then we could see something freezing on bridges, overpasses, maybe your car, things like that, um, which is which is possible maybe in a couple of places. We'll just have to play it cautiously tomorrow morning on uh, just how this all flies. But I don't think it's going to be a major issue about travel or any of that tomorrow. It's just going to be a unique situation where we go from one extreme to the other, and then, then we do lay a foundation for cold air that's going to be with us for a long time to come. All right, finally, the maps this morning. Here's the remnant Nicole, now a tropical depression, moving north, and here comes our Arctic front moving east. So the two are going to work together here to keep rain in the forecast today. And then we start to see the transition over to colder air. Here is midday. The front begins to come through here. The temperatures only getting into the mid-60s before they fall tonight into the 30s, close to freezing. And that's where we could see that little thin layer of mixed precipitation trying to move in with the next low-pressure system. And there goes Nicole up into New England. And there you see that little changeover or mix tomorrow morning uh, as we get the day underway. But then it moves out pretty quickly. Tomorrow will just be a breezy, chilly day, some leftover raindrops or wet snowflakes. Now, the next system to watch starts to make its way through the plains and into Texas and Louisiana on Monday. Monday looks dry for us, but late Monday night into Tuesday morning, skipped on me. Here we go. Late Monday night into Tuesday morning, 
rain to the south and where this divining line is is critical because some of us and i we've been talking about this for the last several days we could see rain over to maybe some freezing rain sleet and then over to some snowflakes uh monday night into tuesday morning that's a big if all depends where on, on all depends on where the coldest air sets up it's all going to be cold but how far south does the mixed precipitation hit us and then that's gone by next wednesday into thursday and things turn pretty quiet after that but the big story the biggest story of all is the cold air coming in uh, starting later today. And from here on out, daytime highs in the 40s, maybe a 50 here and there, overnight lows below freezing pretty much every day for the next 10 days and beyond, through Thanksgiving at least. So hope you're prepared and ready for all of that. In the meantime, I'm getting prepared to go to the radio station, Sam 100.7. This morning, uh, lots of great music on the way, and uh, who knows what else we've got going on. So listen in this morning. I hope this breakdown works out for you. I know I went a little long today, but there's a lot to talk about with Nicole and with the colder air coming in. We've got a variety of things going on. In the meantime, God bless you. Thank you for watching as always, and I'll see you on the radio.